<laughs> you know, I, I posted a video and I'll put the link in the description box and in the comment section about his baby mother and Nas's baby mother who were trying to put together a reality show where, of course, they were going to speak about their exes. Nas's ex was going to speak about him and 50's ex was going to speak about him. And we all know that Shanika has loose lips. Shaniqua has loose lips when it comes to 50 Cent, okay? Apparently, 50 Cent put up a post, and I'm pretty sure y'all are viewing it now. And I believe he's with a lawyer friend. And in the post, he said, uh, swipe left. I was just telling my man at Ari Mel Melber, Ari Melber, about the madness that's going on. When we pray for success, we don't pray for jealousy, envy, or entitlement, but they come with it. Ari, I have to say this in a way she can understand me. Look, Biat, go get an effing job. I own your life rights. Reality TV is a no-go. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, go shake your new fake ass over at Club Angels. <laughs> Now, again, for those of y'all who don't know, too, 50 Cent's baby mother, I believe when she got her last child support payment from him, she went and bought a new ass. I I'm serious. The same year, around the same month that she had got her last check from 50, she bought a new ass. Now, if you go look at her photos from let's look at her photos from when 50 Cent's son graduated high school or even before that. And you look at her now, and I actually, there's a photo in the video that I posted yesterday. You can see she's a lot thicker than she used to be. And it's mostly in, in the behind area. And she did that because she knew that she was going to have to get her a man with some money. Because 50 was no longer going to be funding her lifestyle. Okay. And when 50 Cent says, says that he owns her life rights, what he means is that he's not going to allow her to make money off of him because she's already was getting money off of him for 18 years or have a, as long as he's been paying child support. So basically, he's saying, look, I'm ready to get my legal team together and put the stop to any reality show that you're doing. Now, 50 has a, um, a sketch comedy show on BET. I'm not sure if it's still on there. So what network are you going to go to? VH1? They're owned by the same company, Viacom. So, you know, you could go to um, the own network, WeTV, Oxygen. You could try that there. But 50 Cent basically saying that I'm going to get my lawyers together and we're going to make sure that you don't make one show. And what's interesting in this IG post is that there are different posts of him talking about how reality TV shows that she was trying to do with other women were canceled, like the podcast. He put a, <laughs> one of the posts he had on this particular post, one of the photos that he had was um, podcast canceled. She was doing a podcast with Lamar Odom's baby mother, and I believe they ended up ending that. Uh, there was a reality show that she was going to do with uh, Floyd Mayweather's uh, baby mother that he had that he said reality show canceled on that one and there was a post where it says Nas baby mother uh, Carmen Bryan was prepping reality show with 50 cents baby mama Shaniqua Tompkins that's canceled so basically 50s like I'm ready to sue any any um, network that allows your show to be produced so the only way they're going to be able to make a reality show together is they're going to have to fund it themselves they're going to have to put it up on social media, Pro probably YouTube, you know, you got IGTV, Facebook, you can film it, self-fund it and film it yourself and put it up. But basically he's saying you will not be on network TV. And I can see what 50 Cent is going with this because, again, like I said in a video, uh, she ruined 50 Cent's relationship with his son. She, she really did. I believe that 50 Cent would have had a better relationship with his son if she, for the most part, 
would have allowed him to be a father and put her feelings to the side. Now, I don't know how their relationship ended, but what it seems to me is that they broke up and 50 Cent just did not want to get back with her. And I and 50 Cent Financial was taking care of his son, and early in his career, his son seemingly was there with him. But I believe that this woman was so hurt and jealous that he was moving on and he was being successful that she basically turned his own son against him. She turned his son against him because he no longer wanted to be with her. Because he felt like his career at that particular moment was more important than being in a relationship with her. But it doesn't mean that you know he wasn't trying to be a father to his son because I believe he was. But as I said in the video, you shouldn't as a father stress yourself out dealing with your baby's mother. As long as you're financially supporting your son and making sure that he's in a good environment, that should be enough, especially early on in his life. If now this is only if you have a career path like 50 Cent. Now, if you're working a nine to five job and you have the time on your hands to go and be around your kid, you fight to, to be around your kid. But 50 Cent, his career tra trajectory didn't afford him the time to do that. So he basically said, okay, I'm going to give this woman money and I'm going to make sure that my son is in the, the proper type of environment that is beneficial to him, you know, and he graduated from high school and it seems like um, he, he stayed out of trouble. And now that his son is older, he dislikes 50 and that has a lot to do with her. I don't care how your relationship is with somebody. You should never turn your kids away uh, against their father. And you have a lot of bitter women out there who have children with men. And when those men no longer want to be with them, they will turn those children against that man. Try to put a stepfather uh, in, uh, as the, the father of those children. And what's interesting is that Shaniqua Tompkins has a daughter that's older than 50 sons so she already had a child when she got with 50 so basically 50 was taking care of both of her kids and i will say this though her daughter does look good i mean you know <laughs> but that's besides the point the point is that i believe that for the most part you know 50 cent has has an ego he does. I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm not saying that you know he was right to not want to be in his son's life. I, I've never, I never want a father to just abandon their children. But you have to look at it this way: Would you had rather him get lawyers and sue this woman for custody and fight this woman for custody tooth and nail to the point of still not getting his son, or focusing on making sure his son is in a good environment that the bills are getting paid? that he's staying out of trouble because I truly feel like and I said it in the other video y'all go and check it out I'll put a link in the description box in the comment section I truly believe that when his son gets away from his mother and see what it is and see things for what it is he'll understand why his situation with 50 is the way it is because 50 even though he did go back and forth with his son a little bit 50 cents still wished his son happy birthday and this woman went in the comment section and started cussing him out and talking all kinds of crap about him that's the type of woman she is she want battle lines to be drawn and if you look at her instagram page her instagram page is basically a shrine to her son he is the man of the house he is the only man that that really cares about her She's not in no relationship, but she's putting her son on a pedestal because she feels like he's now going to take care of her. 50 was taking care of her, him and her other daughter. But now she wants her son to follow in his footsteps and be a rapper. Like she's sharing all these photos of him being on video shoots and being in the studio. 
these women, you, these females need to point their kids in the in the right direction. Not everybody's built to be a rapper. Not everybody's built to be a pro athlete. Not everybody's going to get to that tech level. There are many things that he can do to be able to be successful. But because she's one of these type of women who chase rappers, who only want to date rappers, who see, you know, you know, uh, dope dealers and gangbangers as the alpha males of the communities, they chase behind these, these Pookie and Ray Ray types. And when these guys no longer want to be with these women, now they feel some type of way. But you know what's interesting? Is I looked at some of the comments um, on 50 Cent Post and a few others. And there were people who were upset at 50 Cent for what he's doing. I think 50 Cent is in the right here in some regards. Now, I don't agree with him stopping her from making money. But... When it comes to his name and when it comes to the fact that she has turned his son against him, how when he tried to wish his son a happy birthday, she's talking crap about him in the comment section. I wouldn't want her to profit off my name either, especially when I've been paying this woman child support. I've been paying her child support for a long time. I was paying the mortgage on the home she was living in. Now, that particular home got burnt down and she's blaming him for it but still there's no evidence to prove that he had anything to do with it i think that this woman probably did it herself and thought that she was going to blame him for it because i'm telling you women like this are, are something's wrong with them the fact that she went and got a fake ass at her age what first of all what type of men you think you're going to attract or you think he's going to attract older uh, men who, uh, you know, who self-made? Those guys aren't looking for older women with fake asses, especially single mothers. So what do you think you're going to attract? She wants to attract 50, the 50 cent types, you know, even though 50 cent wears more of a suit than anything. She still wants to attract that same type of guy. In her mind, she feels she could still get a guy like 50 Cent. See, women like this never grow up. So I can see why he didn't want her to do that reality show. Now, I can't really speak on Carmen Bryan situation, but she does seem a little nuts to me. Um, there's just something off about her. Okay? I see why Nas never speaks on her. <laughs> Because I think something might be wrong with her too. But you have these women, man. They put their sons on a pedestal because they want their sons to take care of them. Just like when all these these black, especially these young black pro athletes, they get to the NFL. They thanking their mama. They talking about what they're going to buy their mama. Um, what is your mother going to buy herself? You can't talk about how hard of a single parent you were. And your son, your son has, still has to grow up to take care of you. You can't even take care of yourself. And parents should never look to their children to take care of them. This woman is getting a fake, getting a fake uh, ass, and she still uh, has that same mentality of somebody should take care of her. So obviously, if you're getting fake buns, I'm pretty sure you can go out and get a job. You can go still go and get you a degree. You know, become a registered nurse. That's what most of these black females are doing. <laughs> and it's a good profession. It makes it makes good money from what I heard. But oh no. All these years, all she did was sit around and spend the money that 50 Cent was paying her. She did not even try to go out and do anything. And now, after the, the now that you're no longer getting a child support check from 50. You, you still want to make money off of him. And I see exactly why he's saying there is no way and no how I am going to allow you to continue to profit off of my name. You can't even put your pride to the side and allow him to have a relationship with his son. Now, 50 Cent has an ego and he should not allow his ego to stop him from being a part of his son's life. But his son is a grown man. It's up to his son now. 
to see things for what it is. We all, as young men, get to that point to where we see our mothers for what they were, for who they are. And we say, you know what, it's time for me to really evaluate everything and try to be more uh, willing to meet my father halfway. It is a sad situation. Never allow your emotions to damage your children. Because when your children grow up in a single parent environment and your mother is talking crap about you, trying to get other men to be your father, it, it messes with you psychologically. It really does. And you, you tend to dislike somebody and you don't even know the whole story. But... It doesn't matter. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this particular topic. All right?